Let us pray. God of mercy and of love, you have called us to live in communion with all of your created world. Give us a new appreciation for the diversity of creation and for the people of our world whom you love with an everlasting love. Help us to serve the needs of all who are suffering, sick, lonely, and broken by the struggles of life with the compassion and joy of true servants of Christ. Give us grace to work with passion for the unity of your church throughout the world and to take our place among its people without expectation of reward. May our ministries be anchored in your love of justice and peace. May all who serve be encouraged by the promise of Christ's presence with us. Make of us a more obedient people, gladly giving what we have received from your faithful hand. Hear our prayers, O Lord, for those whose lives are closely linked with our own, whose needs we entrust to you, along with our own needs. We pray for those who are dealing with wildfires in the western part of our country. We pray for those who are dealing with storm damage in the southern part of our country. We pray for those who are dealing with COVID-19 throughout our country and throughout the world. We especially pray for those who have lost their lives after being infected by the COVID virus. We pray for all who have experienced the loss of a loved one in these difficult times. Surround them with the assurance of your love and grace. As we come before you this day, offering our prayers for those near and dear to us, let us remember that you can constantly lift and carry us in your love. Bring us to the knowledge of your mercy and powerful love that will never leave us. Prepare us for ministry in areas of need and desolation. For we ask all these things in Jesus' name. And now with the confidence of children of God, we are bold to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 